at the end of days. The first sign shall appear in the heavens. Justice shall fall upon the world of men. The armies of light and shadow will clash across the fields of eternity. should be getting you home. But there's still work to be done. If these translations are correct, <laughs> the powers of hell could already be on the move. The world must be told of the coming darkness. You do believe me, don't you, Leah? It has begun. Leave it, Uncle. It's not important. beyond imaginings, far from the jungles of my youth. My knowledge has grown vast. The people, they think me banished, shunned to the end of my days. They say I defy the spirits, but I say no. Follow them. The spirits show me alone that the Skyfire is where the end begins. They say this must not be. I live to serve the spirits. So I go. There is none but me to answer the call. The air is heavy with death. The fallen star is near. Spirits tell me, go, seek the cradle of the fallen star. And so, I am here. It fell on the old cathedral. There was only one survivor, Leah. You should speak with her. Captain Rumford, more dead are coming. We can't open the gates until we drive them back. They keep coming. Opens. I've never seen anyone fight like that before. Guards, open the gates. You'll find Leah at the Slaughtered Calf Inn. 
Zakarum has fallen to disgrace. What fate has been? You are Leah. The captain says you survived the fallen star. I did. But it blasted my uncle, Deckard Kane, into the depths of the old cathedral. I tried to search for him, but the dead were already rising. I came back here to rally the militia, but the Watch out! The wounded are turning! This is killing business. The dead will overwhelm us all, unless something is done. There is a deep sickness here, but it can be healed. Thank you. You should speak with Captain Rumford at the gate. He can tell you what to do. Sixteen militiamen went out. Only Rumford came back. How can I help to fight the risen dead? I admire your courage, but Captain Dalton and the militia were slaughtered by those things. Only I survived. Their sacrifice saved their people. I will honor it. Well, I have seen you fight. Strike at the wretched mothers and their queen. They're the ones vomiting out these horrors. They're attacking the barricades! One of the wretched mothers. There are more of them in the ruins down the road. Enjoy this!
mother sleep once more. Old Tristram, Diablo's evil lingers everywhere here. Thank you for your help, but could you talk some sense into Leah? She won't give up on the idea of rescuing her uncle. Nor should she. I will help her find him. My power moves fast. Come, let us search for your uncle. We'll need to open the cathedral first. The guards locked it up before they were ambushed. Rumford told me they fought their way back to Adria's hut. The key must still be there. I promise, Marco, I'd protect it. Here, let me open the gate. Adria was my mother, but I don't know much about her. She died when I was very young. I was raised by Uncle Decker. Did you know your father? I'm told he was a great warrior who was lost when Tristram fell to the demons. Your mother hid her secrets here. People said she was a witch, but I never believed it. Here's the key, and my mother's journal. What I've seen of it is disturbing. I want to know more about her, but that can wait. We need to save Uncle Deckard first. I will find Deckard Cain. Stay here and study your mother's secrets. We may have need of them. Thank you. Aiden came to me last night. I suspected what was lurking within his troubled heart. I consoled him as best I could. Regardless, wherever he's headed, hell will surely follow in his wake. The shadows close in on Tristram once again. But like Aiden, I'll be gone before they fall. My strike is true. I overflow with blessings. Strong cathedral. The fallen star lies in the Here is where the fire fell from the sky. 
Strange magic comes from the world. Cursed. Once the captain of King the Oryx army, I left only to honor my land and my king. No man has a greater love for his king than I had for mine, even as I drove my blade through his dark and corrupted heart. Stay back! Back! May this wedge hold. The Skeleton King? The power of the Fallen Star awakened me, and soon all will suffer as I have suffered. Gods, bring me his bones! Thank you, but why did you risk yourself for me? Because you needed my help. Come, I must return you to Leah. Oh, it is wonderful to hear that Leah is well. I fear the worst. I learned of this secret passage through old maps I found. We must discuss the fallen star. Follow me to Tristan. I have kept my word to Leah and rescued her uncle Cain. I pulled him from the clutches of the Skeleton King, who still holds the Fallen Star. Uncle, you're alive! Thanks to you and your friend here. I seek your wisdom. Tell me of the Fallen Star. 
The prophecy of the end days surely points to it as a sign that the end has begun. Please, Uncle, not more of your stories. All that matters now is that you're back. The Skeleton King was once our beloved lord, Leoric. He was driven mad by Diablo's evil. He lost both of his sons and his very soul before he was finally defeated. Now it seems he's risen to plague this land once again. The Oryx should be in the unformed land, yet he stands between me and the fallen star. The key to defeating him lies in his old crown. Seek out our blacksmith, Hadrig. He knows of its whereabouts. Leah spent all night alongside the blacksmith's wife, tending the wounded. Did you hear? Old Rumford has his now to find Blacksmith, Deckard Cain said you could help me find the crown of Leoric. Not now. It's my wife. She's locked in the cellar like all those who've been bitten. I'm to put them all down. But how can I kill my own wife? It must be done, Blacksmith. I will help you. Thank you. Follow me. I've done this without you. I'm in your debt. My name is Hedrig Eamon. I need your assistance, Hedrig. I search for the crown of Leoric. I can help you there. It's buried with his chancellor, my grandfather. You'll find his tomb in a cemetery in the Weeping Hollow. And if you see my fool apprentice out there, tell him to get back to town.
strike at your heart. not allow you to bring that monster Leoric back to this world. You found the crown. Truth be told, I didn't think you'd make it back alive. Ah. It needs repair. Should be no problem. It's good to work again. 
There. New as the day it was placed upon the Black King's head. I need something more than making spades to occupy my mind. I want my life to mean something. We all seek meaning in grief. Maybe we will find it together. The crown is in my keeping. Direct me now to the Lost King. Ah, at last. With it, you can unlock the sealed door in the room where you rescued me and enter the royal crypts. When you find the Skeleton King, place the crown atop his head and destroy him. The Skeleton King's sickness infects this land. I will put an end to it and find the star. must die. certain. He alone had the king's ear, and whispered dark and evil magics into it, instilling the notion of an imminent attack by Westmarch. Afraid to speak against the Archbishop, the councillors nodded their empty heads in agreement, and sent us off to... to die. I will not accept this. It's not my time to die. Ready yet. Strike at your heart. Maintain your incantations. Oh, my Jesus. 
Evil. Your majesty. I am free! Now, back to my mission. Who are you? You will know soon enough. Help me find my gear. I will reward you well. Tell me, what brought you to this infernal place? I go to face the storm. As do I. This dragged me past this glowing pit. What made it? I wish down this way. There are my. He's free. Do not let him be off. I am Cormac, warrior of the Templar Order. If it is the Skeleton King you seek, then you will have to fight your way past John Dar. There is no reason we should hunt alone. No, there is not. Magic bars our way, but the will of a Templar is stronger. You were a Templar, John Dar. How could you succumb to this coven? The coven is my brotherhood now. The powers we serve will soon rule this world. Please forgive me. My vision was clouded by the coven's evil magic. Betrayal can never be forgiven. Thank you for your aid. I will go with you on your hunt for the Skeleton King, but there is one condition. If we find the sacred tomes of my order, they are mine. Agreed. Then onwards we go to fight the Skeleton King. Lead the way to glory. Yeah. 
Not ready yet. Keep your distance from him. This burden is mine to bear. May death bring peace from your madness, Leoric. Traitors! Even in death, the armies of Condorus will still obey their king. Even if you will not. Into my tomb. We shall put you down, Hellspawn. Need more mama. I just arrived in Tristram, and I must say, I'm a bit dismayed. This place is a backwater filled with serfs and an ancient broken-down monastery, hardly fit for the King of Condorus. I cannot fathom why Lazarus was... You will never defeat me! <laughs> you were defeated the moment you surrendered to madness. Here is the crater.
So you are the fire that fell from the sky. Why do I find you here at the source of this place's darkness? I am. I... I was. I... I remember falling. Do you remember why you are here? I am not your enemy. I think. Yes, I... I believe I have come with a warning. The darkness. The darkness is coming. I must... I don't remember. I will take you to Cain. He will lead us to understanding. For all the mysteries yet to be solved, I now learn that the fallen star is a man. He remembers little of himself. I will bring him to Deckard Cain. Perhaps then he will have some answers. This man was the falling star. No man could survive such a thing. Who are you? What are you? A warrior, I think. I came bearing grave news. But I cannot remember. Your message might be all that can save us from impending doom. Tell me everything you remember, stranger. Every detail. Falling. Fire. A sword of great power. It was part of me. But it shattered into three pieces as I fell. It is vital that we find those pieces. I believe the sword made whole will restore your memory. The Goatmen are rampaging through the fields. Could the sword have anything to do with that? Of course, of course! Just as the dead rose around the stranger, the sword pieces drove the Goatmen to madness. I will bring back the sword and bring peace to the Khazra, one way or another. There's a sword here, we will find it. We'll rip these brutes to shreds. Need more money. seen before coming from cave what I see must be with the ritual. Manga will be here soon. It's time. Manga's life surrounds this sword piece. Who are you to take what is mine? I will return this sword to its owner. Regardless, I have cleaned it. 
I am Magda, and I lead this coven. The shard is mine. To hell with you, witch! Very well. Let the games begin. Well fought, but you will never possess the next piece. It has fallen where only the ancients may tread. She is more devious than she appears. The sword was in the possession of Dark Ones, under the will of a woman named Magda. Uncle Deckard, you sound like those dark cultists you told me about. Very good, Leah. You have been paying attention. Stranger, does any of this jar your memory? I have no memory of this coven, but I sense a far darker shadow guiding its hand. Magda's words betrayed her. The next piece of the sword rests where only ancients may tread. That makes me think of the drowned temple near the festering woods. I remember you telling me about it, Uncle. Exactly, Leah. The temple was home to the Nephilim. Leah, your knowledge could be invaluable. You must go and help our friend retrieve the sword piece. The Nephilim were ancient humans with fantastic powers. Legend holds that they waged a terrible battle near the temple, and that their ghosts still war with one another. Please help! They're going to kill my friend! Thieves are going to kill my friend if we don't do something! Help me break these bonds and see for yourself! What do they want with your friend? She's just a farmer's daughter, Sasha, but she has a relic that the thieves are after. Losing my patience, wench! My sweet love will save me. Release the girl. The relic belongs to her. You actually believe what this scoundrel tells you? Fine, you fools. We'll kill the both of you. You won't get away from us this time! I need money. This isn't over. The rest of the Thieves' Guild will find you. Here's the relic, my love. I hid it like you asked. Father's grown suspicious of us. But that won't matter once we're married. It won't be long, right? Of course, my dear. Soon we will settle down to a quiet life of tilling the fields and raising brat... Uh, children. But first, I have to sell this relic. Alas, I must travel away with my friend here to do so. You wish to come with me? Yes, yes! You look like you know a lot about markets. Now, lead the way! Wait, the relic is a fake! Gods, I should have known! You seem like you could use a helping hand, and I sure as hell don't want to stay around here. Please tell me that you're not considering this criminal's proposal. And you're betrothed? Betrothed? <laughs> Do I look like the marrying kind to you? 
By the way, my name is Linden. What the tomes say of Alaric and this temple is not encouraging. You must be Alaric the Guardian. Uncle Deckard told me of your eternal watch over this cursed place. I thought it was a myth. Are you Nephilim? No. There have been no Nephilim for a millennium. <laughs> Yet another myth. You seek entrance to this temple, but only a Nephilim can enter. If you retrieve the keys from the outlying tombs and use them on the gates, we will see who and what you truly are. Follow me. I will raise the bridge that you may pass. Seek two tombs in the woods beyond. The warriors rest and the crypt of the ink. A pall of ancient doom hangs upon these woods. Are these Alaric's people? No, they are lost in madness. These flying creatures death. says that our people can survive the coming battle, but I saw the truth in his eyes. Why did he order me to guard the beacon of honor? Those shambling things are slaughtering my people in the forest above, and there's nothing I can do to stop it. I do not have no command. We won! A well-deserved death! When this is over, I could open my own little... If I live. That would fit you. Well, if you ever want a job, I will consider your credentials. You do me a great honor. It's amazing. It reminds me of being a child and searching for lost artifacts. What this? Sure, we could beat whatever traps the ancients had laid for tomb robbers, but the dead bodies of my friends testify to the folly of our arrogance. I will be dead soon as well. Our greed was our downfall.
speaks the truth. The noble human fought his way here just to die. Magda. And who is this you bring with you? Adria's daughter? She has power within her. No matter. Your mother will soon share your faith, little one. The shard is mine. Fill this temple with their blood. What did she mean? mother will share my fate. Could my mother be alive after all these years? Her words are lies and madness. Do not listen. And what is the power within you that she spoke of? This fight was too easy. She's toying with us. We the world stone has been changed. Our children are born weak and suffer short lives. The demon Nereza promised to restore their power. But instead, turn them into mish- Magda found us in the Drowned Temple. Even now, she seeks the third piece. I remember a glow streaking towards a fishing village. That must be worth them. Ah, brilliant dear Leah. Have the ferryman take you there. Wife? Don't think I don't see you undressing our fine hero with your... I was thinking. Don't hurt yourself. I need to go across the water to war them. I will take you, but beware. Smoke rises from the village. They're destroying the town! Get out while you can! Death to those who defy them! This town swarms with Magda's dark children. She is near. Please! My family's hiding in the chapel with the rest of the townsfolk. We must get to them! Don't run off! You'll get yourself killed! <laughs> Fools! You cannot keep the sword from me! This is bad. My servants will burn this town to ashes! There's something coming. Need more money. I seek a sword hilt fallen from the sky. It glows with powerful magic. We found it days ago. I wish we'd never brought it here. Come, I left Virgil to guard it. We will be glad to be rid of it. I'm going back to Tristram to check on Uncle Deckard. It is not here. While you were on your hero's errand here, I captured all three sword pieces and your friends. I should have known. I must get back to Kane's house.
It's your choice, Cain. Either use your Herodric arch to repair the sword, or your dear Leah dies a horrible death. <sighs> oh, this pain, this destruction. What is the sword to you? To me, nothing. To my master, Belial, everything. Your rage is overwhelming, girl. You win this round, but if the sword cannot be mine, I'll claim the one it's bound to. In the end, the blade shall be mine. Uncle, you can't die. Nothing can stop that now. But there is one last thing I must do. The sword must be made whole. Just as I suspected, the sword is of the high heavens. The stranger is an angel. Heed the journal. The truth lies within. Uncle ah. Deckard! If only I could control this power, I could have saved him. Do not blame yourself. Magda is the one who must pay for Cain's death. Magda and her master Belial. The journal speaks of an angel falling from the heavens as the shadow rises from the abyss. The stranger is the key to all of this. It does not matter at this moment who he truly is. I will find him and bring him his sword. When my power erupted, I saw into Magda's mind for an instant. She's fled to the highlands. You can reach them through the caves above Wortham. You have to know, she'll be waiting for you. I will survive her traps. The spirits tell me so.
Evil lurks in many places. Demons, beasts, even the hearts of men. one of them, ordinary, untouched, until her voice came to me. Then I knew how I must serve. I must kill the one who threatens my mistress and the dark power that created her. I am chosen. Chancellor Eamon, it is of the utmost importance that we secure my manor from the traitorous rabble in Tristram. The caves to the east are too close to my land. They must be blocked, completely obstructed. I believe the Archbishop Lazarus has magically bound some arachnids of late. They may serve us well. Mama. My mistress has accepted me. Come close and feel her loving embrace. This land is not kind to madmen. Please help me. It's horrible. She sucks the innards from her victims. Oh, no. No. It's too late. I hear her. The Spider Queen is coming. Spider Queen?
for mana. like this a moment longer. I'll go mad. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Can we please leave this horrible place? like that. Thank the gods you came along. What are you doing out here? I seek a man taken by the coven. The coven? I saw them dragging someone into Leoric's manor house. Perhaps it was the man you seek. Uh, you might have a small bit of trouble reaching there, though. I'm not proud of this, but I stole the staff of a powerful Khazra shaman. The Khazra went mad and chased me to the caves. You can find the staff in my cart in the highlands. If you take it to the Khosra Barricade, perhaps they will let you pass. These lands once belonged to the Crown.
Need more mana. These lands have fallen to darkness before under Leoric. We must reclaim them before it happens again. a new piece to the game. A girl named Leah. My spies tell me she is the child of the witch Adria, who is hiding in the- He's unstoppable! No mortal could slaughter our brethren with such ease! He is here! You cut this out of sickness, and it Delay him, while I prepare his demise in the depths below. They did horrible things to us. I seek another man, a prisoner in rags. Yes, the man with the golden eyes. I saw Magda take him into Leoric's old torture chambers. You know us. Rest now. I will punish Magda and her cultists. Evil 
wears no disguises here. more time. So 
worthy foe! Glorious! Once queen to our beloved Leoric, my servants and I were consumed by his madness. Now I give you my blessing, champion, to release my people from their eternal torment. The gods have seen fit to release me from this torment. your heart.
long. Thank you, champion. My servants are now free, but the curse over this place remains. Seek the war. Am I alone here? Must I do this myself? So be it. Face me. Then report your crime. Pallid malaise has fallen over the manor we now call home. Young Albrecht seems to be enjoying himself in our new home, however. Perhaps I am simply suffering from an imbalance of humors brought on by the recent change of climate. Tristram crying over the old man's corpse. She'll soon have another one to cry over. Yours. Meet the Butcher. Fresh meat.
Take your sword, Angel. My sword. I remember now. I was an archangel of the high heavens. I was the embodiment of justice. I was. I am. Tyrael. You have restored my mind, friend. And now, I remember the warning I came to deliver. Belial and Asmodan, the last lords of hell, are unleashing a tide of darkness that will drown this world. Already, Belial's shadow has fallen upon Chaldeum. Belial and his legions will find justice at my hands. He will not escape punishment. We must move quickly. Let us return to Tristram and make ready. I need to go back. Time grows short, my friends. Even now, Belial's influence is spreading through Chaldea. But how will we find him? We won't have to. Magda and her coven will lead us straight to him. I'm not going anywhere until Uncle Deckard's been laid to rest. As you wish. We will see to his shell. Then, we will see to his murderers. I have called for a caravan to guide us to the east. Speak to the caravan master when you are ready to go. We will see to Cain as we depart. My friend, shall we depart to strictly forbids us from interfering with the mortal world. Yet you have done so, brazenly. All I am guilty of, Imperius, is bringing justice, while you hide, cowering behind your throne. Silence! You will now answer for your transgressions. Not judge me. I am justice itself. We were meant for more than this. To protect the innocent. But if our precious laws bind you all to inaction, then I will no longer stand as your brother.
Tristram is safe. I go now to Chaldeon, the great city of the East. It has fallen before one of the last lords of hell, the lion. I will set the city free. Here we are, Chaldeum, Jewel of the East. Uncle Deckard loved this place. He wouldn't now that it is under the spell of Belial, Lord of Lies. I can smell his stench on the air. Our paths lead apart. You search for Belial, and I will seek Magda. Her end will bring rest to Cain's spirit. Guard, where did these refugees come from? I am not a guard. I am a Shira, commander of the Iron Wolves. We saved these refugees from Magda's coven, that even now wreaks havoc throughout the borderlands. Then we share a common foe. I seek Magda, but I do not know where to find her. She's heading toward Alcarnas, but has blocked the road behind her. However, there is another way. Through the Kasim outpost. This gate leads to Alcanus. You will need to follow the long road over the canyon bridge and through the Kasim outpost. Take heed, traveler. Cultists guard these desert roads, and they will slay any who pass. They may find that difficult. I have come to kill them and their leader. Then you must not go alone. I shall accompany you. There are illusions out there. Mirages to some. But I can see them for what they are. The Coven's foul magic. They will lead you to your death. I appreciate their concern, but these cultists are known to me. I do not fear their traps. Polished ivory, and her eyes there. Be careful. They are very near to us. That cannot be. The way is blocked. You should never have come. Demons will feast on your bones. I've missed killing these cultists. Come on, then. How do you know about the ambush? I am an enchantress. The ways of magic and illusion are familiar to me. My name is Arena. Thank you, Arena. But tell me why you are truly here. I sense you have a greater purpose. Well, I am also looking for someone. But here, let me clear the way for you. Captain, from behind! Protect the people! I will! If not for you, the Lacuni would have eaten well this day. Is the road ahead so filled with danger? More than Lacuni stop. Cultists cast their spells from two desert layers to disguise the Black Canyon Bridge. Let us head north to the Howling Plateau. The cultist magic seems to be emanating from there. Illusion here. The cultists try to hide their footsteps. Their spells are weak and easily countered. If we follow these prints, we can find their lairs and halt the rituals. I will seek out any other traces of their magic. Look, 
More hidden footprints. We'll rip these brutes to shreds. <laughs> Telling stories about that for a while. This is one of the cultist lairs. <laughs> Another ritual at the cellar to the east of here. Look, more hidden footprints. Hidden foot. This is one of the cultist lairs. They are casting part of the illusion inside. The ritual is disrupted. There, that ought to dispel. It is with some reluctance that I write on the seven lords of hell, for they are the greatest of the demon. Tell me. What shall you do when Magda is dead? Belial and Asmodan, lords of hell, plan to destroy us all. I shall destroy them. How curious. You must be the one I was meant to find here. I think it is time for you to know my true tale. I am not from Chaldeum. I learned these spells 1,500 years ago. My sisters and I pledged our service to a man of great power. We called him the Prophet. He trained us and placed us in a magical slumber to awaken in this era. I am to prevent the Lords of Hell from invading. Much of the great magic of this world has been lost over the millennia. Fight by my side. We can destroy the Lords of Hell together. chance to travel with you. Now to find the casino out. You will find it to the north, though it is still in distance. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Belial, Lord of Lies, is the most elusive of the seven evils and is a master of deceit. It is said that he manipulated Asmodan into revolt against the prime evil. Captain of the Guard, you are hereby ordered to- You must open the gate. I need to go to Alcanos. You must be mad. But if you're intent on rushing headlong to your death, talk to Captain David down in the command post. He's got the gate key. Here you are, delivered unto me as a sacrifice, a gift from Lord Belial. There is a sacrifice here, but it is not I. Your master sent you to this place as bait to take me from Chaldeum. No! He would never betray me! Strike him down! Your master is the Lord of Lies. You matter not to him. Not a moment too soon. They plan to sacrifice us to Belial. Iron Wolves, take back the town! Has Magda reached Alcarnas? Yes. We've heard rumors of a horrible slaughter there. Then you must open this gate. I must save who I can. I can hear the spirits That may be, but he is an angel no longer. He surrendered it all to join with us. You have been blessed by many. This manuscript lists Asmodan as the best battlefield commander of all demons. Having defeated the angels many times in the eternal conflict across Pandemonium and the prime evils in the demonic civil war. If the Lord of Sin ever assaults our realm... Help us! You can't leave us here! Do not fear. I am free. Thank you. This is the least we could do.
sad tales have reached me of your... I will send your spirit to the unformed land. There, your victims eagerly await your arrival. It matters not. While you hunted me, Belial's Imperial Guard captured your little witch, Leah. Soon, her power shall be his! Trouble these lands no more. She was consumed by shadow. It pains me to see it. As the life drained from Magda's broken form, she swore that her master, the demon lord Belial, would rule our world. I will not let this come to pass. Before she breathed her last, Magda said that the Imperial Guard had captured Leah. The Guard's human form is a veil. They are serpent demons who worship and serve Belial. Then they must be holding the Emperor against his will. I tremble to think what Belial might do with Leah and her growing power. The only chance we have to rescue Leah is to wrest the Emperor from the grasp of the Imperial Guard. A Shira of the Iron Wolves can help us to reach the Emperor. I will ask for her aid. I have never seen anything like that. Captain Ravan, the conditions out here are deplorable. Something must be done to aid these people. Ashira! The Emperor and my friend are in grave danger. I must gain entry into the palace. I heard what you did at Kasim Outpost in Arcanus. You have my thanks, and you shall have my help. Captain Ravan, this man has vital information regarding the massacre in the Borderlands. We must see the Emperor at once. Very well, but I don't think you'll find him receptive. Let them pass! Let's go. I'll lead you to the palace. You are bold to have sought this audience with me. My guards tell me you were responsible for the massacre of innocent villagers in Alcarnus. No, that is not truth. Alcarnus fell by the hand of Magda, servant of Belial. If you are innocent, then why do you have spies skulking through my sewers? Bring her in! Let me go! I detest violence. Gods, I leave this matter in your hands. Cover your escape. Thank you. Now we need to get to the sewers. I'll explain why when we get there. These demons are blocking our way. We must destroy their summoning construct. <laughs> Way 
into the sewers from here. This leads to the sewers. I found my mother, Adria. She's alive. The Imperial Guard is holding her somewhere down here. Do not worry. We will find her. And we will kill her. We finished them off. <laughs> So Magda was telling the truth. Somehow I knew my mother was alive. I always knew it. You did not know your mother. Be very near. Things are not as they seem at times. should be up here. Tell us about the Black Soul Stone! We know of the three that the Haradrim used to trap the Primeval. What is the purpose of this one? Your master Belial has good reason to fear it! Leave her alone! Seize them! Leah, my daughter. You know who I am? My darling, I've watched over you all your life. But I never dared get close because of the danger that always shadows me. We are still in danger. Let us go from this place. I'm surprised Cain never told you why I left. He knew I was called to fight the Lords of Hell, and I knew he would keep you safe. He's gone now. Then it's fate that we have been reunited. Cain's work, your work, is my war. According to the Herodric texts, only two evils remain. Belial is here in Chaldeum, and Asmodan has yet to reveal himself. The guards were asking you about this Black Soul Stone. I remember reading about it in Uncle's journal, but it didn't seem important. No, but it is. It is the key to defeating evil forever. It was created by the mage Zoltan Kuhl to trap demonic souls. Yes! He was a renegade Haradrim, dismembered by his brethren before he could activate the Soul Stone. His head was sealed away in the Dolgar Oasis. We must retrieve it. Because if we're to use the Soul Stone to defeat Belial and Asmodan, Zoltan Kool must live again. We rescued Leah's mother, the witch Adria. She spoke of a black Soul Stone, an artifact that could be used to banish all evil from this world. I will find it and bring it back to her. Torturer. Monster. These were the titles bestowed upon Zoltan Kuhl by the Horadrim. Though it cost them dearly, they killed the wizard for his crimes against nature and sealed his broken corpse within a shadow realm. It's disgusting. I've seen that man going in and out of the sewers. Mm. I think we may have a visitor up ahead. Listen to me. I cannot talk for long. Belial's guards are constantly watching me. Emperor Hakan? Forgive me for my behavior at court. The guards would have killed me had I sided with you. But I will help you now as I can. You must be headed to the Oasis. I can open this gate for you.
there would be more. Sometimes I feel like you are not all here in the present. This is not my intention. There is nowhere I would rather be. Truly. Truly. Everything depends on this. Diablo was the youngest of the prime evils. But I found him the most dangerous, for his power over terror left him incapable of feeling fear. Though he had easily possessed and corrupted many humans, Diablo's essence was finally trapped in a soul stone and banished to the unfathomable abyss 20 years ago.
Perhaps I will find Zoltan Kuhl's head in here. We are in agreement. Kuhl, the renegade, must be stopped. He seeks to duplicate the power of the stones and wield it for his own ends. He is obsessed with the powers of heaven and hell. Drawing their attention will only bring doom to us all. madness driven him. How much power has he accumulated in his mad quest? I can only hope we are not too late. If you keep holding back, then you'll never improve. Ah! Leah, are you all right? Yes, I think so. I'm sorry to push you like this, but it will all be for the best in the end. I know. It is time. Leah, cast the spell as I taught you. I live again. Zoltan Kuhl. We need you to activate the Black Soul Stone. We would use it to trap the last two Lords of Hell. <laughs> I know your voice, stranger. It has haunted me in death. Just as it commanded me in life. Tyriel. I am, but now mortal. Ah, fate is whimsical. I will give you the Black Soul Stone, but in exchange, I must be made whole once again. You were treacherous before. How do I know you won't be an even greater threat once you've been fully revived? You don't. So, you must ask yourself, how much would you risk to save this wretched world? Everything. Ah, so be it. To begin, you will need to retrieve my blood from the dungeons where it has been hidden away. You will find them in the desolate sands beyond the aqueducts. I'm going to go with you. We should bring Cool's head with us. Maybe he'll have something useful to say. I'll put him in your bag.
I can open, open this gate, gate for you. Emperor Hakam? No time for pleasantries. I think I may have uncovered Bilal's assumed identity. I'm very close. But here's what you need to know. To find Kuhl's blood, you'll need to get through the aqueduct. There are two levers that control the entrance beneath the waterfall. The spirits are unsettled in this place. They warn me of coming danger. Belial. So long as he lives, all of Chaldean is under siege. Uncle Deckard theorized that the demon lords leave demons in their way, much like us leaving footprints. You believe that? Yes. The more I study my uncle's books, the more I realize that even I took his wisdom for granted. One lever down. I think we were meant to come this way. Perhaps someone waits for us down here? Oh. Mm -hmm. 
Philosopher Caddis said, if you want to know the truth of a city, you need look no- We must stop him from the nest! Belial must really want you. should lead to the desolate sands. A secret door hidden <laughs> behind. He, he stuck me in a barrel. <laughs> it's quite uncomfortable in here. Still alive out there? Or is it the monster? It's... Thank you for releasing me. It was getting a little boring in there. Uh, 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 I am seeking a magic crucible that legend says was hidden in these very aqueducts. <laughs> it, it would be a valuable addition to my jeweler's tools. <laughs> Help me find it, and I will be greatly indebted to you. <laughs> Oh, how rude of me. I forgot to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Covetous Shem. Oh, uh, do you think so? I often... I can't imagine why my young partner bashed me over the head and sealed me in there. This place is quite dangerous without a knowledgeable guy. Oh, yeah. This is no place for you. Are you not afraid to die? Why should I fear something I've never done? It could be interesting. And you thought I was odd. Fascinating place this is. Oh, look at all this wonderful architecture. You could walk all the way around the world and never find its like. Uh, except for this part. I've seen this somewhere else before. was cursed I never would have I'm going, I'm going back to town I need to learn you and I are the same but those others the fallen angel the witch they're using you for their own ends you choose to be their puppet yet the power of your birthright could make you a god I feel no such temptation, Sultan Kuhn. Look where your desires have taken you. There's no need to be snide. Soon enough, I'll walk this world again. Then I'll show you what a Nephilim can achieve. <laughs>
beyond this portal. must have belonged to Zoltan Kuhl before he died. Seems an adequate reflection of his character. I strike this tree.
They were strangely empty at first, but cool made fast everywhere. Each step harder than the next. Friendly, I have unlocked the secret of the soul stones once given to the Horadrum by Tyriel. An impressive creation, to be sure, but one that I am certain can be duplicated. No, not just duplicated, improved upon. My soul stone will be made to contain the souls of many demons, or even angels. Within that cave, I can feel it. The pall of silence lays heavily. Carrying too much. I need to go back.
archives are at the northern tip of the desolate sands. There we will find my body and the Black Soul Stone. <laughs> Here is the entrance to my archives. I had to build all of this for my research and my experiments. The Black Soul Stone was a complicated creation. I sacrificed much to make it. Looks like I got here just in time. Emperor Hakan? What are you doing here? Beyond these portals lie two relics that were once powered by my blood. Take the vials you recovered and use them to activate the relics. Angels are no better than demons. Did you know that they once voted on whether or not to eliminate all of mankind? Only one vote saved us from extinction. I sense the hand of Tyrion. Yes, whatever else he may be, he is the aspect of justice. And there is no justice in murder. in a golden age, but my Herodric brothers could not accept man's true destiny. Yeah. 
We will seal the Shadow Locks with vials of his blood, and we will hide the blood in the desert under eternal guard. I can only hope that the world does not forget of Kool's evil, and his blood remains undisturbed beneath the shifting sands. sustains him. He bleeds sand and his laughter mocks us. There is only one course of action left to us. We will separate his body and his head and hide the body within the ship. The Horadrum did all this to lock my body away. He must have been very angry with me. Are you surprised? They were never very imaginative.
Yang Ku mocks my every step. I try to shut him out, but his chattering is ceaseless. Joy with joy in taunting me. I will not rise to the bait. I will not give in to him. I have retrieved Kul's body from the realm of shadow. Then let me begin the ritual. But I'm warning you, Kul. You'd better not cross us. You are surrounded by deceit, young one. I am the least of your concerns. Concentrate, Leah. Soon now. Just a bit longer. Just a moment. Almost. Yes! My blood thunders within me. This fetid air fills my ravaged lungs. I am alive again. You're welcome. You are whole again, Sultan. Now, give us the soul stone. Very well. The bargain stands. Quickly, to my sanctum. of the dead lords of hell have been absorbed into the stone. Abandon your quest, Nephilim. Your allies seek only to control you. With the power I offer, you and I could rule over all creation. You are mad, cool. Give me this stone, or I will destroy you. Triggered. It seems my brothers have finally come looking for me. Five Lords of Hell now reside within this stone. Adria, you must tell us the whole truth of the stone. Twenty years ago, during the darkening of Tristram, Cain told me of Zoltan Kuhl's profane soul stone. That's why you left me. You went to mark the demon's souls so that they could be drawn into Kool's vessel. Yes, my daughter. I have sacrificed everything for this. I am returning to town. What will we do when we've trapped Belial and Asmodan in the Soul Stone? Then I will shatter it, and the Lords of Hell will be no more. We've got to reach the Emperor. He said he can lead us to Belial. Are you certain we can trust the child? We have no choice. But know this. If Belial gets desperate, he will unleash Hell upon Chaldeum. So before we face him, we must evacuate the citizens. The Iron Wolves can help. Yeah, thank you. Let us go. Belial has started his attack on the city. Let's go. Ashira is already at the sewers. Hurry! We'll keep you safe! Belial knows we come for him. He will destroy this city to stop us. When the fireballs began falling from the sky, we started evacuating the people. They will be safe here. We will save all that we can. The Iron Wolves will assist you to the death. I saw people hiding under the carts. Bring them to the sewers. We can't risk our lives. Watch out! Keep the people away from those fireballs! I 
never believed it would end like this. You'll be safe down here. Now to the gates. We have no time to lose. Let's go. Now, Leah, use your power just the way I taught you, and bring down these gates. Stand back. I still can't fully control it. Do not worry about us. up to you now. Hurry! I must stay here and tend to Leah. Praise the gods you've arrived just in time. Show me the soul stone. It shall be your prison for all eternity, Belial. You will see more of it than you want to. Clever, but know this, Nephilim. Asmodan knows of the stone and the power it contains. Even if you defeat me, he will exterminate you and every last one of your misbegotten kind.
seal Belial's soul within the stone. It is ironic that one as twisted as Zoltan Kuhl played so great a role in our salvation. Kuhl was once a tireless enemy of hell. From his life, let us learn. The longer we fight evil, the more it can corrupt our hearts. I need to go back. Today is a good day. You have liberated this land and brought low a lord of hell. Enjoy this moment, for tomorrow our war continues. There is no time for rest. Even now, Asmodan plots our destruction. The Lord of Sin is an uncanny tactician. He'll attack us where he believes we'll least expect it. And where defeat would break our will to resist. You are learning well, Leah. Now you must go to Chaldeum's great library and continue with your uncle's work. New goods today. Please look. You're I can be ready to leave at the... Chaldeum can thrive once again. I now hunt Asmodan. Leah has seen visions of his armies marching from Aliad Crater. 
Only the ancient fortress of Bastion's Keep bars their way. But without me, it will fall. The Keep's defenses cannot hold. Its soldiers are scattered, fleeing before Asmodan's onslaught, which rushes forth from Ariat Crater. Should the Keep fall, Asmodan will claim the Black Soul Stone. If he does, there will be no hope for this world. The Keep will stand. I will rally its defenders. Light the signal fires and show these soldiers that we are not yet defeated. Salvation has arrived. The Black Soul Stone's getting hotter, straining against me. They're yes, whispering to me from inside. No, it will be very hard on her. Someone's got to light those signals. You heard the angel's command. Let the call sound forth. Bastion's keep shall not fall. Nothing can save you. We saw the signal fire. We must light the rest, but the demons swarm around them.
It's hopeless! was that? An illusion to drive fear into your heart. We've seen the fires you've lit. Fear has no more hold on us. The catapults could break Asmodan's lines, but we can't raise them from their births while demons swarm over the walls. Worry not. The catapults shall be raised, and the demons will flee back to the hells that spawned them. Thank the heavens you're here. We're down to four lads until reinforcements arrive. Trouble is, the lift stopped. I can't see what went wrong through all the muck down there. This sounds ominous. Oh, what now? More of the brutes from below, Captain. What do we do? Private, if you need to be told which end of the sword goes where, you haven't been paying attention. Fight to your last breath, lads! is moving again. Hold steady, lads. Reinforcements are on their way. Demons. Get ready, men. Victory! Bastions keep us as dull as I imagined. The soldiers spend most of their time gambling. I guess this is what we should expect from this hollowed out rock, a shadow of its former glory. Still, I am here to provide for Anna. I hope she is well. I see riches ahead. We're all going to die. Fight with everything you've got! You must be the one that lit the signal fires. Help me free the recruits so they can raise this catapult. Over here. Excellent. Let's protect the recruits while they raise the catapult.
is lost. There is no hope. Scouts report that more of those wretched demon hell bearers will be here any moment. The soldiers need to be protected. The platform will rise more quickly if we don't lose men. Bloody well alone. Everyone else has gone and died, but I'll be damned if I leave my post. Make yourself useful and spin that winch. Watch my temper. Do me a favor and don't mention that I shouted at you a little, all right? While you tinkered with your paltry catapults, my demons breached the depths of your keep. Once they've claimed the Black Soul Stone for me, your entire world will burn. Asmodan's demons have opened an enormous hole in our walls and are flooding into the depths. If it is not closed, the keep will be overrun. Then the breach must be sealed. I will see to it. I bring word from the king of Westmark. The demons are in the keep! They're coming out from the depths!
think some of these barrels have fuel inside. Perhaps we can use them against our foes? <laughs> Does you? Insidious. They will stop at nothing in order to seize this keep. And all the world will be You are evil and
Wonderful commander, is he not? We are fortunate to have one such as him at our side. Trapped some huge demons in the next room. I've been praying the doors will hold. They need to be killed. They're too much for me. I learned much from that. Terrifying noises were coming from the armory, so Tyriel went to investigate. He said if you were to return, I should send you there. I am losing control!
The Soul Stone seems stable now. The demon's rage has been subdued. Yes, but for how long? Our time grows short. We must take this fight to Asmodan. Then I will go to the battlefield and find a way to Ariat Crater and to Asmodan. Secure Bastion's keep. Now I must go to join the battle in the fields below, where Asmadan's war machines wait. Do you think he's as good as they say? The gods are here. You've got to destroy those ballistae. They're raining hell down upon us. We can't last much longer. Done. I heard rumors of Zakarum warriors called Crusaders. While the natives were most reticent, I was able to deduce that this order was founded 200 years ago, just as Rakis took his army of paladins west. But these Crusaders went east on a very different mission.
middle of the army of hell. It will crush you. This did not defeat me on the walls of the keep, and your siege weapons now lie in ruins. I come for you, as madam. <laughs> I could no longer sit idly by. You brought the fight to Asmodan. It has been too long since I felt the thrill of battle myself. Destroying my siege weapons makes little difference. Every hour, more of my forces pour forth from the mouth of hell. Soon, they will wipe your pathetic keep from existence. Brave words, Asmodan. But words are all you have left to hurl at us. Forward, friend. Now we shall drive Asmodan's army back into the accursed crater. It has been a long time since we reforged your blade. Finally, you will use it in battle. You honor us, sir.
Eldruin will destroy the demonic seal protecting this gate. Twisted demonic towers and enormous hearts beating within them. I know of them. They are the Sin Hearts. Asmodan must have dredged them up from the depths of his realm to empower his legions. Then we will stop the beating of these hearts. Gate is no more, though Asmadan has brought hell itself through it. Now I must destroy the Sin Hearts so that his armies will falter. Then only Asmadan will remain. You've killed one of my playthings. You have my undivided attention. Another demon. She will die like the rest of them. Pleases me. 
Every step brings you closer to my embrace. This demon is very strange. your enduring. Play with my daughters. I do not wish to tire you out. <laughs> I can feel the blood hemorrhaging from the sin heart. Oh, you will pay for this. So close now. So.
Does he? Chains tear at their flesh, hear their screams, such sweet music. Thing 
things I'm going to do to you. My mind is my own again. Oh, you've met my daughter, I see. Are you enjoying that? Maiden of Lust lurks below. Oh yes, I've been looking forward to this. Asmodan's evil thrives and festers. Not for long. one within me. I will be the sum of all hells, the prime evil. Arrogant, enough! The dark power of you. 
its nephew. We've done it! Quickly now, Leah! Trap Asmodan's essence within the Soul Stone! It's done! I never dared dream. All evil lies trapped within that stone. Once it is destroyed, the eternal conflict will finally end. Destroying the stone is no simple matter. There are rituals to consider. We must return to the keep and make our final preparations. I need to go back. An incredible victory. I knew Asmodan could never stand up to the likes of you. Where are Adria, Nia, and Tyria? They are all in the armory, no doubt celebrating. You should join them. Adria, when did you decide to betray us? Twenty years ago. A great and terrible power drew me to Tristram. But Aiden, Leoric's eldest son, defeated that power and sought to contain it within his own flesh. The Dark Wanderer. It was Diablo I saw within him, and I pledged myself to his service. Now, at last, his grand design comes to fruition. Dear Leah, Deckard always suspected your true father was Diablo himself. And now, my daughter, you shall serve as his vessel. I live. But I am more than I once was. The seven evils are now one within me. I am the prime evil. Well done, faithful Adria. Go now, until I call upon you again. Now, at last, to my true goal, the one that has always eluded me. The utter destruction of the High Heavens.
Adria has betrayed us, and Leah's soul now lives in Imbuero Ikura. From her body, Diablo has been reborn as the prime evil. With all the powers of hell within him, the high heavens themselves tremble with his steps, and the angels can do nothing. Now hope lies with me. Only I can stop him. Imperius, you cannot mean to face Diablo again. Your wounds are barely healed. The heavens burn. This is your fault, Tyrael. And you, Nephilim, look below and see what your kind has wrought. Aspect of valor condemns us. This will be difficult. The diamond gates have stood since the light first broke over the high heavens. Now they lie in ruins. Imperius is right. I am the cause of this. It was not because of you. This was Diablo's work. You did everything you could. Long ago, my brethren and I voted to decide the fate of man. I cast the final vote that spared you from extinction. Now humanity has birthed the prime you. You must not give in to doubt, Tyrion. You became one of us, and now you must live and fight as one of us. Give in to despair if you must, or come and fight with me. But you don't understand. Hope has been silenced. Dire tidings indeed. Gaze upon the destruction I have wrought. It will be the last thing you see. Iskatum, destroy the Nephilim. Destiny is unknown. Write it with me, or watch all of creation burn around you. Perhaps fate can be changed. Quickly then, Ariel, Archangel of Hope, has been captured by Ragnarok, the Lord of Despair. I will find her, and hope will be restored to the heavens. These are the gardens of hope.
think yourself free from the chains of fate, Nephilim. But all will kneel before Lord Diablo. again fill this troubled realm. I see now that all hope lies in you. You are bound by the chains of fate no longer. With my blessing, you can now dispel Diablo's corruption. It hides the rifts which bring his cursed servants to this hallowed place. The rifts must be closed. We will not fail you. Diablo nearly brought ruin to the heavens as despair bled into the angels' hearts. But now I have restored hope and rallied them. Tyriel is still lost in the devastation. Now alone, I must go to destroy Diablo's hell portals.
burns you. The way opens before me. Ready to again fight by your side. I was wrong to give in to despair. You have shown me there is still a chance for victory. But we must hurry. Even now, Diablo makes his way to the Silver Spire. I finally understand. Your kind faces death and darkness every day. Yet still you find the courage to move forward. It is an honor to be one of you. We'll see.
Diablo seeks to corrupt the crystal arch that stands atop the silver spire. If I let this come to pass, the heavens are lost. Tyrael and I must reach the arch and stop the Lord of Terror before it is too late. Corruption is thicker here. How does it feel, knowing you helped me become the prime in evil? For all your mighty deeds, all you really accomplished was unleashing me upon the world. Some savior you are, Nephilim. Destruction Diablo has wrought. If we do not stop, this is the future of all creation. <laughs> Now, 
I only hope we are not too late. The Angera's Council is no better than the fine evils themselves. We are just pawns in their cruel games, and now you help the worst of them all. Kane would never say that! took my home to see it again like this any joy i might have had is replaced with song never i see you did not heed my warning or perhaps you think yourself strong enough to face me i do not wish to fight you but if i must i will imperious stop this madness. Diablo is the enemy here, not the Nephilim. Tyrion, I will deal with you soon enough. I will... What is this? No! Diablo has reached the Arch! No. Diablo has begun extinguishing the Crystal Arch. That's why the angels have fallen. If its light should go out forever, we must defeat Diablo before that happens. Then it is up to us. Without your wings, you can still fight. Diablo's vile corruption bars our path. Stand back. Eldruin's light shall clear the way. The gate has been opened, Nephilim. This last trial is yours alone. I could not have done any of this without you, Tyrion. It was an honor, but this is the moment you were made for. This is the hour of mankind's victory. Defeating 
Diablo's essence lingers in the Black Soul Stone. I cannot destroy the stone, nor allow its evil to remain within the heavens. And so it must be hidden, even from the angels. I pray that it will be enough. Done well, Horadrum. Your service here is finished. And you should all. Come <laughs> 
Twisted angels who have come to Westmarch, murdering all who reside within the city's walls. I will find the truth of why they have come. But first I will strike these reapers down so the dead may find peace in the unformed land. The Nephilim. Tyriel sent me to find you. Malfiel has taken it. It will be done. I swear. Survivors. General Torian was defending a group of refugees at the old Zakarum Cathedral, but they're likely all dead by now. Wait, you're the witch doctor who saved Bastion's Keep. You'll save us too, won't you? That is why I have come. Keep moving. I think we lost her. No! 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 The demon blood must die. <laughs> I see no demons here. Only innocent people. Maltel wish to destroy this city. Because he feeds on death. Every time his reapers kill, he grows stronger. And with the prime evil gone, Malthael believes this is the perfect time to end the eternal conflict. Humanity has nothing to do with that war. We are the offspring of angels and demons. But when Malthael looks upon us, he sees demons. Church! All the refugees are inside! Follow me!
Akarat's Bane. This is worse than I feared. What could this be? A death mate! Stop her! Avalon, your soul will be mine. There must be an end to this bloodshed. Where is Malthael? I know only that he is not in Westmarch. He could have taken the Black Soul Stone anywhere in creation. Is there a way we can determine the purpose for which he took it? There may be. A sliver broke off when Malthael took the Soul Stone. Perhaps by studying that sliver, I can learn his plans. You must discover its secrets. Until then, I will go bring peace to the city. Do you know what the Death Maiden was trying to do in the Cathedral? She was creating an orb that turns the living into Malthael's death creatures. A single orb can transform hundreds of innocent people every hour, and my men report two more of them out in the city. Soul Crucibles. With two of them, Malthael has an endless supply of soldiers. Not for long. Just death in horror.
Soul Crucible, but not for long. Thank you. I knew you would arrive in time to save me. But how? I am Miriam Jazia, a seer of the Vechen people. I foresaw our meeting, but I did not see this horror. I have come to help you. There is one crucible left, and if you destroy that, the Maidens will not be able to create more. There is no time to waste. We must be on our way now. Malveil. He's watching you. We must do everything in our power to slow the Nephilim down, so that the collection... It would be wise for you to wait in the survivor's enclave. You are not safe out here. Nonsense. You'll protect me. And after experience of what those things do to people, let's just say... I need to see you destroy the final crucible with my own eyes, if I am ever to sleep again. Don't mind me. I'll just be waiting over here. That would be Urzael. Who is he? Urzael is the angel who commands Malthael's forces in this city. I think you made him angry. I see. We should return to the Enclave and learn what progress Tyriel has made with the Sliver. I need to go back. Changing. Malteel is altering it. Exactly. He's been gathering strength from the souls of Westmarch in order to alter the stone. Yet his purpose still eludes me. He's killing everyone. What more do you need to know? If we are to stop him, we must know what he plans to do next.
Urzael has done this to finish collecting the souls of Westmarch. The time for his death has come. Where is he? All I know is that he is in a tower somewhere in the Westmarch Heights, and that he will be quite rude to you. Before you set up to kill him, you should stop by my cart. I can enchant some items. Master has begun his work on the stone. Nothing that you do matters. Soon the demon spawn like you will be gone forever. Not the spirits call for your death, and I will give it to them. The demon spawn shall perish in flames. <laughs>
Urzael is dead. The Reapers will be easily defeated without him to lead them. You have saved Westmarch, my friend. But we still do not know why Malthiel took the stone. And he grows stronger by the moment. Our time is running out. That strange woman you brought here believes she can help. She insisted on speaking with you immediately. Cheldor, I know how to find Malthael, but you will not like what I have to tell you. What is it? There is only one person who knows how to find Malthael. She waits for you in the Blood Marsh, and you know her well. Adria. Adria. She has much to answer for. <laughs> You're not going anywhere without me. Why? Someone has to make sure you don't kill Adria before you find out where Malthael is. Come with me if you wish, but Adria will pay for her betrayal. Urzael and his Reapers are dead. Westmarch is safe, and its people can finally begin to rebuild. Lorath and I now go to find Adria in the Blood Marsh. She knows the way to find Malthiel, and after she tells me, I will end her life. The marsh has changed much in a short time. The Boggins are more... We hid the Black Soul Stone in the deepest part of the Nephilim ruins near me. Thought it would be safe. But Malthiel found it all the same. This is the entrance to the tomb, but someone's collapsed it. Adria. It looks like we'll have to find another way into the ruins. What was that? Something is coming. Stones littered across the blood marsh that will lead us to the main one. The guide stones are useless to most, but we'll reveal the correct path to a Nephilim. You cannot run, Adria. Remember to get the information we need before you. Of course. Well, that's not very reassuring. Stones, but nothing happens when I approach it. Let me try. There are four entrances to the Nephilim city, each one etched with a sigil. Only the correct one marks the true entrance to the tomb helm. When you activate these stones, one of the wrong sigils disappears. Then all we need to do is eliminate two of the remaining sigils.
passage I have been searching for. When I am done, you can join me.
been hiding, Malfiel. Adria. The angels will never suffer us to live. They cannot accept the fact that we may choose our own path. At least demons are not so rigid in their beliefs. Sure it. He always finds a way. Before she died, Adria conjured an image of Pandemonium. She was searching for Malfeyan, so he must be there. I am returning to town. <laughs> Malfeyan is in Pandemonium. No doubt he has gone to the fortress. Malthael can hold out there until the end of time. He is forcing us to come to him. He thinks to grow more powerful than me while skulking in the shadows like a rat. The only way to Pandemonium is through the high heavens. Let us leave at once. What is this? Destroy the gate! Dares to attack us? Malfael is my brother. I fought a thousand battles by his side, and I care not that he seeks to destroy you and your kind. My brother has grown sick, and he must be put down for his own sake. Yet I have not the heart to do this. And so it falls to you. Come, Nephilim, to Pandemonium. Malthael tried to destroy the way to Pandemonium. He knows that I am coming for him. I will cross the broken land over which Angel and Demon have fought wars beyond counting. To the Pandemonium Fortress, where the Angel of Death waits, hiding behind its walls. There's a siege camp not far from here. Meet me there, and I will show you what must be done. I do. 
do everything for you. without the siege runes that power it. You have one in your possession, but there are two more. You will find them on the battlefield below, in prison along with the demons that carried them. Once you have the runes, go to the ram. But know this, Nephilim. Even if you release Malthael from his madness, I will not thank you for it. I do not need your thanks. at the center of all things, linking the realms of heaven and hell. Long ago, when the angels were young, the aspect of wisdom found the eye of Harry here. Need he more mana. The world stone, and all of heaven swore to protect it. Save me. 
it roams the outskirts of Pandemonium, a lumbering giant with a gaping hollow at its core. Somehow, it can hide its body away, disguising itself as a mere portal. Those who pass through it are trapped in a distant world, never to be seen again. Soul Stone to capture all demonic essences, even those that linger in human hearts. 
If the stone is altered to rip the demonic essence out of every man, woman, and child on Sanctuary, they will all die. No, we can still stop him. And we begin by attacking the fortress. Now Vale is fundamentally altering the Black Soul Stone. It will now pull in all the demonic essence from whatever plane of existence it finds itself in. But mankind is born of angel and demon alike. Every mortal, save myself, has demonic essence as an intrinsic part of their being. Losing that will rip their body and soul apart. Broken. Pandemonium Fortress. When I fought Malthale, my sword passed through him like air. He is in a state of death and life, impervious to physical harm. Your magic is not enough. To defeat him, you must channel the power of death, as he does. Hmm. The voices of the spirits below call to me. Could they be the key? The power of the dead. If you could become one with it, you would be as Malveil is, and you could face him. But you must find a way, quickly. Every moment, thousands die. And Malthael's power grows beyond anything I have ever seen. I am returning you down. The spirits welcome you. Soon we will speak truly for the first time. Never before have I heard a voice from the Unformed Land so clearly. This time we both saw him. Ancestors, I call on you for aid. Mal Though Malveil consumes the spirit of Imbruru Ekura, it has not made him invincible. He has opened himself up to you. But how? Are you not master of the unformed land's power? Malthael has grasped something greater than I have. He is death itself. But the spirits would answer your call and aid you if they could be wrested from Malthael's grasp. Go deep within the fortress and set them free.
blessing.
wisdom in the chalice, but there was no The sounds called to me and I Soulstone. 
Maldale destroyed it and consumed Diablo's soul. Then Malthael's death will have released Diablo. He is free. The Nephilim have done the impossible. By conquering death, he had redeemed the angels and saved all mankind. In that moment, with victory at hand, I saw the Nephilim in a new light. He is a hero who can defeat the champions of heaven and hell, and a witch doctor who protects the innocent. But within him beats a mortal heart that will one day be tempted to corruption. On that day, will he have the strength to resist or will he 